Part 7. Final touches. What's that? Lighting colors. Post-processing. But first, big reveal. I've been using Universal Render Pipeline this whole time. So if you're not using Universal Render Pipeline, some of these settings might be different. I don't want them to be different. Don't worry. You can convert your project to Universal Render Pipeline. Now what? Step 1. Press play. Look at the game view. See that? No. Because the camera is in the wrong place. Move the camera to the right place. That's better. Step 2. Color space. Let's change our color space from gamma to linear. Click edit. Project settings. Player. Other settings. Change Change color space to linear. That's better. Step 3. The sun. Click your directional light. That's the sun. Change its color to this color. Set mode to real time. Set indirect multiplier to 0. And make the shadows softer by changing shadow strength to 0.4. Did that do anything? Not really. Step 4. Water. In part 4, we added water. It's just the default low poly water prefab from this asset store asset. If you're using that, you can follow this. Otherwise, change your water. Click the water prefab. Expand the material. Change lighting to simple. Change the colors to these colors. Turn off normals. Turn off reflections and skybox reflections. Decrease wave height to 0 0.01. Now that I've removed all the nice features from this water asset, let's go to step 5. Colors. Open grid. For the last time, go down to draw texture where you set the color to color.green. We don't want solid green. We want nice green. I used this one. Press play. Not bad. Step 6. Post processing. Create a game object. Call it post processing. Add a volume to your game object. If you're not using universal render pipeline, this will be a bit different. Click new. Add an override. Tone mapping. I used aces. It makes a big difference. Add another override, color adjustments, turn up the exposure and saturation, click play. Wow, such a big difference. But it's not showing up in game view. Stop playing, click the camera, turn on post-processing on the camera. And while you're at it, set anti-aliasing to FXAA. One more step, step seven, ambient occlusion. Search for your renderer, select it, add a renderer feature, screen space, ambient occlusion, turn up direct lighting strength to 0.5 and radius to 0.1, click play. Look at that, it's beautiful, maximize it.